Hello, and welcome to the first of a five-part video series on online registration through Glenbard. Today we'll cover residency verification. If you did not receive a letter this spring stating that you need to verify residency, proceed to part two, log in and add students. The online registration process is five parts. We'll begin by confirming residency, then we can log into PowerSchool and add any new students, We'll verify the demographics for each student, then we can register for athletics and pay any student fees. Residency is the first step in the process and must be completed for each student every year. Your school will need three documents, one from column A and two from column B. The first could be a real estate bill, a signed lease, a closing statement for an in-district residence, or a notarized letter from the owner of your residence stating that you reside in his or her home. However, if you do choose that last option, remember that you will also need to prove residency of the owner. The second and third documents can be a driver's license, gas or electric bill, a public aid card, voter registration, home or apartment insurance, Illinois auto registration, library card, or a credit card bill. Now, if you do try to proceed to PowerSchool before these documents have been brought into the school and they've been able to confirm residency, you will see a pop-up in PowerSchool. So let's see how that looks. So now I've opened an account in PowerSchool and I've received a pop-up. It says residency has not been confirmed for Elizabeth. And there's a link at the bottom. It says for more information, click here. So let's take a look. The link takes us to a helpful page for the residency confirmation process. To get there without going through PowerSchool, open up a web browser and go to www.glenbard87.org. From here, hover over Parents and click Residency Verification. The link has contact information for all the schools. You can click here to download the residency verification form and there's a list of the documents that can be provided as a residency uh, confirmation. On the left hand side there's a link under residency verification that says school boundary search. The tool will open in a secondary window. This is an interactive map of all of the school boundaries. There are four shaded areas, a yellow, a green, a red, and a blue. You can tell which each shaded area means by the legend on the left hand side. The yellow area is for students who will be attending Glenbard North. The blue for students attending Glenbard South. The red for Glenbard East and the green for Glenbard West. I can zoom in and out with the buttons in the upper left hand corner. The easiest option is to simply enter in an address in the search bar that says find address or place. So I'll type an address and then once I've entered my address I can click the magnifying glass and this will drill in and find the building or home location on the map. Now I can see that this building is in the green shaded area which represents those students who will be going to Glenbard West. So if you have any questions on where your residency lies, this is a very helpful tool. Once residency has been confirmed, we can access PowerSchool and add new students. We can then verify their demographics online, register for athletics, and pay any student fees.